Alrighty, so every year I am going to release a video where I discuss what I think could be leaving Canada's Wonderland in the current year. So what do I think could be leaving Canada's Wonderland at the end of this season in 2024? Um, that is what this video is about. This isn't like about next year, the year after. This is about what's leaving this year um, at the end of the season, ranked in order of likelihood. Um, so that's what I'll be discussing today. It seems like um, based off of, you know, things I've seen, seen we'll be seeing something leaving. Um, but I do want to stress this video is pure speculation and the opinions of myself. Um, obviously, the park will make an announcement on which ride will end up getting removed if there is one. Um, and they're the only ones that know. All right. Starting off, uh, least likely out of the rides I'm presenting that will be removed this year is Dragonfire. Now, a lot of people might be shocked that this is even on the list, but I am here to tell you there has been surveying going on around Dragonfire. So they have surveyed the land of Dragonfire, which means it is in some sort of timeline, got some sort of plan. Uh, it could be as simple as a retheme, but we all know that an older attraction like this is most likely going to be removed at some point. Um, so with that surveying, I do suspect this is on a chopping block list, um, whether that ends up being this year, next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, it is on some sort of plan. Um, but I do think this is the least likely of uh, rides to be leaving the park. Um, at the end of the season. Now, I do want to talk about this. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when Wonderland announced Alpen Fury, uh, they were not shy in not really broadcasting publicly uh, a lot that this park's going to have 19 roller coasters in 2025. Um, I think I've heard it maybe once, but they have not advertised it as the park having 19 coasters. Uh, so I find that really interesting. So when I'm making this list right now, keep that in mind, okay? So on my second least likely um, coaster or ride to be getting removed at the end of this season, I have Wild Beast. Wild Beast was a ride that was surveyed last year, if you remember. Um, and I do think there is a plan forming for this attraction whether it is getting gutted and rebuilt with a ground up attraction. I do think that you're gonna see something eventually happen with Drop Tower, the Go-Karts and Wild Beast, maybe even Wild Nightmares along with that. Um, this is a part of the park that is going to need a lot of money um, invested into it. And I have a whole video coming out about Medieval Fair very shortly. It was actually supposed to be coming out before this video, but I decided this video needed to come out ASAP. Um, so Wild Beast is definitely a ride or slash roller coaster that has been surveyed. It is showing signs of uh, a littler maintenance going into it. Um, there is a new site office being built underneath the ride, um, which is also a sign that maybe, you know, some more love, tender care could be coming towards the attraction. So I don't think this ride is leaving this year, um, and I don't think it's leaving next year, um, but I do think this ride has a plan that has formed in terms of its future. So what do you guys think at this point of the video? Comment down below, what do you think is the most likely ride to be leaving at the end of this season? I wanna hear from you guys. Um, and hopefully I'm not triggering anyone so far with my list, but um, yeah, I I'm kind of excited because I don't think anyone's expecting the ride that I think, again, I think speculatively, um, is leaving at the end of the season. So Wild Beast is not on my high ranking of rides that could be leaving at the end of the season, but it is on my radar of attractions that have a plan um, in terms of future development. So I'm really excited about this one because it fits into a really big plan that I um, have in my mind in terms of speculatively. But yeah, we'll talk about that later. Woo! This ride, um, Riptide, is an interesting one. So this is a ride that is in the middle of my list of attractions, um, most likely to be removed um, soon. This attraction has been operating um, the entire se uh, season so far, essentially at limited capacity. So they've been using one lane only, one row, not lane. Um, it has been operating uh, at limited capacity. The water jets don't work. 
um, and it definitely faults a lot. Although faults are very normal on rides and attractions, it's a normal process of a ride's performance, um, it is also a sign of, you know, higher cost to run more parts going into it similar to cars as they age you need to invest a little more money into them um, so this attraction is a hundred percent on my radar um, but again i'm kind of looking at a roller coaster leaving the park at the end of this year so i put this in the middle now do i think wonderland could remove more than one attraction yeah i really do think there's going to be a season where we see multiple things get removed we are a park with a lot of attractions. We are a park with a lot of older attractions. So seeing something like this and a coaster or two flat rides leaving in the same year um, is very plausible. So this is definitely high up on my list, but I'm gonna keep it in the middle for now. All right, so we are down to our last three coasters on my most probable to leave at the end of this season. Now, these next two are 100% um, coasters that everyone is speculating leaving the park sometime soon. And let me tell you, if um, you had talked to me about a week ago or two weeks ago, I definitely would have been talking about Time Warp um, being the most likely to leave, but things are changing. Um, so Flight Deck is ranked at number three in terms of most likely to leave the park, but I think that these are going to be leaving in 2025, 2026, um, and not immediately, but they are really high up on the list. If they did get announced this year, I wouldn't be surprised. With that being said, I definitely think Flight Deck and Time Warp are a package deal. If you're gonna remove Time Warp, you're gonna remove Flight Deck. If you're gonna remove Flight Deck, you're gonna remove Time Warp. And that is because, for those of you that remember, Canada's Wonderland has done a lot of land surveying in this area. This entire area, including Kingswood, has been surveyed. Um, they are forming a plan for it. There was even a plan in the surveys that went out last year on a launched wing coaster themed to a music festival. So that's really exciting. Um, although I don't think they'll move forward with that anytime soon. Um, in terms of that wing coaster, I do think that the plan for Kingswood is coming together and that we will see Flight Deck and Time Warp leave very shortly. But is it going to be the roller coasters that we uh, see leave at the end of this season? I don't think so. I think there's a more likely candidate that we're going to see leave at the end of the season um, and I'll explain why. So, what do I think is the most likely attraction slash roller coaster leaving at the end of this season? That is the bat. I think Canada's Wonderland is looking to remove the bat at the end of the season, and I just fully believe this is something we're going to see happen. Um, the bat has definitely been having a lot of growing pains with its age over the last couple of seasons. Um, it's been valleying a lot. It's been having a lot of maintenance costs go into it. We've seen them reinstall a brand new chain on the roller coaster. And then that chain has experienced some difficulties in the last couple of days. Um, I was just there the other day and the coaster valleyed after making a lot of grinding noises on the chain. Um, but again, the rides performed as usual and the ride came to a safe stop. This isn't something out of the ordinary. Things happen, it's mechanical, and the ride safety features performed 100% effective. Um, it is just something that is costing the park a lot of money to continue to operate. Um, it has really limited capacity. Um, it's a very older attraction and it's one of those attractions that is a classic and it is a fan favorite amongst some but I do think it no longer belongs at a park like Canada's Wonderland. Now that leaves me to what could possibly be replacing the bat? Well, I'm gonna talk about that in another video. This video is just talking about how I think the bat is the most likely roller coaster leaving at the end of this year. So will I be right about what's leaving Canada's Wonderland in 2024? I don't know. Truthfully, it's up in the air. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but nonetheless, do you guys agree with my list and do you agree with the bat being the most likely candidate to leave Canada's Wonderland? Comment down below and let me know how you feel. Have a good one, guys. Bye.